Formerly Student is uh, it's run by the uh, SAE and the uh, Institution of Mechanical Engineers and it's a competition to promote the uh, design and manufacture of a single seat racing car uh, for students at university level. Uh, there were 12 students this year that selected to do this project. Um, so it's subdivided into little three groups so you get lots of hands-on practical experience. Uh, we've also used some younger students from the year, years below and they've sort of get involved practically in the workshop on a weekly basis and then today we're having our first on-track testing session uh, where we hope to put the car through its paces and get some more involvement as well from the department. We haven't run for a long period of time and the endurance race is a 40 minute race so we want to see if we can do a long stint of uh, of running with, with just to see if anything goes wrong and if the car can, can behave properly. Um, and then in later in the afternoon we're going to do the exact test that they do at the Silverstone race. The uprights, which are sort of a critical part of the suspension as they hold the wheel in place, they broke in our previous test day in December. So a big part of this has been designing new ones and making sure they're absolutely right. Um, so I've designed new rocker arms uh, to use the push rod system. Um, of course, similar to the F1 cars that use a pull rod system. So through that new component today, uh, which we're using today, uh, we've been able to test it and it's all working fine. So it gives it enough travel required for the technical regulations. You still get a few problems that creep in and uh, need sorting out. So we had we had one in particular where we had a, uh, a breather line on the oil system that uh, they'd uh, somehow it got trapped somewhere in the uh, in the bodywork, uh, and then they they found out that uh, obviously we have to stop and fix that, and it takes uh, sort of two hours downtime to get it fixed before the car's back out on the track. Oh. I felt like the testing day session was quite good. Um, nothing majorly went wrong like last time and we had a full day of testing, didn't have to end early or anything. We've been bringing the car back and we've been checking how everything behaved, checking any data that we collected, taking data off the ECU um, and things like that. We, we had a small oil leak um, from the oil tank on test day so since we've altered that so that we prevented that oil leak from happening again. The biggest thing has been a big shopping order basically. The huge list of everything we need for Silverstone, um, things like spares, so we've got a new set of tyres, race suits, helmets, everything has to be approved, certified. There's about 300 pages worth of rules. So we have to stick to each one of them because there's a four or five hour technical inspection first thing when we get there. We will very much hope that we pass scrutineering, we pass our design reports and our presentations and the static events because you cannot do any racing until you pass all these. So we're at uh, Silverstone for the uh, Formula Student event and uh, we're looking forward to the, uh, the final day of competition where we're going to be doing the endurance run. We've got further than we've, uh, we've been before because it is a very tough event. Uh, you have to get through uh, very strict scrutineering to make sure that the car is safe and passes all the regulations. Uh, we've been through all of that, you know, you can see the nerves. But uh, I, think, uh, I think we'll do okay. Yeah, I think we'll certainly get into it. It's just a question of how far we get. Yesterday was a, a, the issue. So after each scrutineer, we came back with some feedback and had to make changes to the car. Um, so our chassis and technical went okay. Uh, the real problem though was the brake test. You have to lock all four wheels. So we're back and forth from the pit to the practice area. Uh, and it took us about five attempts adjusting the bias. And every time we just couldn't quite get there. And then towards the end of the day, about three o'clock, we managed to lock all four wheels and then straight into the sprint. Uh, just to make one of the last sort of track events there were so we could qualify for today's big event. We should get 
chequered flag for UCL, which is a fantastic achievement for them. Uh, so, yep, our first enduro finisher having done 23 laps. Um, so, uh, it has gone fantastically well uh, this week. We, at the start of the year, we had uh, a simple goal to finish the endurance race and to survive it with our robust vehicle, and that's exactly what we've come and done. It was just amazing because um, apparently we were the first ones in the first batch of cars to complete the endurance race, so that was an amazing feeling. I've paid a bit of attention to this team over the last few years, and I've watched them listen to advice and act upon it, and they've got better and better and better. And of course, it's all come to a head this time. They've finished the event for the first time ever. And, and that, to me, I, like I get a lot of personal satisfaction for that. You learn so much just from seeing the other teams and how they do things. And especially the younger guys that were along with us, they now, they know the level they have to be at for next year and what they have to do. Yeah, I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be amazing next year. We'll have a lot more opportunities as well. Like the department is really firm on uh, trying to make more from our Formula Student events. I've learned a lot about teamwork. I've learned how they work together. I've learned also a lot about the car itself. Um, I didn't know much about this event before, so it's been a huge learning curve for me to learn about this event and how everything is structured. So it's been very interesting. Just getting here is an achievement in yourself. Um, and we've, we've done more than that. And we're, we're hugely proud to be part of this team. And everyone should be too as well. I've been really proud to represent UCL Racing here. It's the furthest we've ever come. Uh, just to actually pass scrutineering um, was a great moment, but then to actually get qualification and end the endurance event, which is the pinnacle of the former student experience, really was a fantastic feeling. Mm -hmm.